people, get out and vote. Do your part. Make it count. It's important. Voters all over the country are going to the polls tomorrow on Super Tuesday, a big day to watch. North Carolina, one of 14 states voting tomorrow. Several candidates have dropped out of the Democratic presidential primary, so some voters will have to recalibrate their options. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has more on what North Carolinians need to do when they head to the polls. Hello, Ann. Hey, Gordon. There's more on the ballot than just the presidential race tomorrow. A lot of people have already voted, and others are gearing up to make their voices heard from across the political spectrum. In just a few hours, polls in North Carolina will open for Super Tuesday. The polls open at 6.30 in the morning and close at 7.30 tomorrow night. Voters will weigh in on more than the presidential election. There's multiple races on each ballot, depending on which ballot that you're allowed to vote on. Uh, we have U.S. Senate, U.S. House. We have uh, a few local county commissioners also. In North Carolina, you can't vote for candidates from multiple parties in the primary. Voters have to choose a party and stick with it when they cast their ballots on Super Tuesday. If you're registered with a party, that's the only ballot you're allowed to vote, whether it's Republican or Democrat. For some voters, that's not an issue. I'm just voting Democratic. Straight Democrats. If you're an independent, you still have to choose a party, according to the Director of Elections in Henderson County. You can choose Republican, Democrat, or Libertarian. Those who choose to vote Democrat are looking at a narrower field. Tom Steyer, Pete Buttigieg, and Amy Klobuchar have dropped out of the race since the South Carolina primary on Saturday. I was leaning towards Buttigieg. I'm disappointed to see him leave. I'm not really happy with what's left. <laughs> On the day of the elections, all you need to bring is yourself. Photo ID is not required. You will just come in, state your name and address, and they'll give you an authorization to vote in your ballot. And we'll put a link on our website, WSPA.com, where you can find information on your precinct and polling location. From 7 on Main and Maxwell, 7 News. And thank you. The Director of Elections in Henderson County is reminding folks they can come to the county elections office. They say do not come to the county elections office. It is not a polling location.